What's up, what's up, what's up? Okay, so how do I do this? Um, I'm taking a cue from both Gary Vaynerchuk and Peter McKinnon. Gary Vaynerchuk was just like, sit down in front of a camera and do something, so I'm doing something. What kills me right now is I can't tell if this is still recording because the 60 Mark I has no articulating screen, so I don't know if this is still good. Um, the other thing is, um, yeah, I'm just kind of winging this. So I've got an audio pack here, my Zoom, my Zoom H2N handy recorder, which is cool, but I would rather have a lavalier recorder. I did have a lavalier set up with a Sony, um, like a teeny tiny Sony um, lavalier system, just hooked up to my um, to the 6D, and I traveled with it, and it got messed up. Sucks. Anyways, so um, I'm gonna try and do these once a week because I think I can do that. I've done vloggy type stuff before for my primal being and that failed because I tried to do it every day and I was trying to push myself, which is, you know, admirable, but it's just a lot of work, a ton of work. And so I'm gonna focus on trying to deliver just something once a week. I actually watched Tara Dietschy's channel and she does that once a week and she's doing pretty good. So not making any excuses, I'm trying to do this. I really need to do this. Um, long story short, like I'm really dissatisfied with my current work situation, um, full disclosure, um, and I have to do something. And this is kind of a shot in the dark, hoping for the best, but not really because I know that the structure is there. It's just a matter of doing the work and really paying attention. And I know this is going to be work. And so I'm kind of treating this, I'm pulling from a lot of places. Um, so bear with me. So I'm kind of also treating this like it's homework. Um, because up until this bears any fruit, it's just gonna be how it is. So there might be a little bit of a challenge. This may or may not work, but yeah, background stuff. Moving on. Um, so just recently, I wanna say yesterday, and I'm giving myself the room because I may not be able to post this right away because I have to edit the footage. But just yesterday or very recently this week, I was with my friend Renee who was doing a showing in an open house and an amazing property up in Longboat Key in the Sarasota, Florida, Manatee area. And it's a beautiful property. And I'll show you a little clip of it now. Awesome, how did you guys like that? Amazing place, right? So I was there and um, on my way there, I was absolutely freaking out because up until that day, and this is gonna be the real meat of the video, I hadn't, um, well, I made a boo-boo. 
I basically was out and about, I was carrying my camera, the 60, and it had the 50 millimeter 1.8 STM on it, which is a phenomenal lens, and it got dropped on its face. And well, common thing that tends to happen apparently is it gets jammed up and it got jammed up and I wanted so bad to be able to salvage that camera but this is all that remains of the 50 millimeter it's such a good lens and I know it's a super cheap lens too so that's cool but just ah. Oh, it broke my heart to do it. Um, and that's gonna be the meat of the video, is me <laughs> cutting into this lens so that I can remove it from the 6D, so that I could salvage it, and so I could take my 24 to 105, put it on the camera body, and actually shoot wider than 50, because trying to shoot real estate videos on a 50 millimeter, 50, on this focal length, impossible. Um, you can get some really nice tight shots, but you can't get rooms and yeah, just wasn't gonna happen. And so rest in peace to this 50 millimeter lens. Lesson learned for me personally is don't be so cavalier. Don't be so reckless with my equipment. Put it away or make sure that it's in a stable spot. Make sure that it doesn't fall on its face, especially a 50. So without much ado, here is me cutting into the 50 millimeter lens. Oh my God, it's so sad watching that video. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, I or, or not. Um, hope you, maybe you got some sick pleasure out of watching somebody have to cut through an amazing lens and there is some value, some sentimental value to this actually. Um, but anyways, um, hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna do my best to really crank out videos once a week and maybe do some other stuff. I'd like to feature some of the work that I've done with a couple of people, including my friend Megan, who is a uh, awesome, how do you call it? Um, fitness role model, I would say. She's phenomenal. She is just a ball of light and uh, she's been absolutely an inspiring person and actually the reason why I'm pushing to do this and really make this happen. So I'm gonna link her stuff somewhere in here. Do check her out, she's awesome. I do a lot of work with her. I've been doing a bunch of work with her and I hope we can do some more work moving into the future and I can just kind of ride her coattails and help her succeed. So um, yeah, hope you uh, guys enjoyed. Um, this is fucking terrible and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Oh, uh, comment if you have any thoughts, like, subscribe, um, and share this video if you thought it was awesome to watch some guy cut into a 50 millimeter lens. You should put that in like slow-mo. Take it easy. Bye.